Hey everybody, wanted to try something a little bit different to maybe keep you up to date on what's going on, maybe some things you know about, don't know about, things maybe that you've uh, forgotten that we're doing and uh, just let you know there's a lot going on even though we're not seeing each other face to face every day in the office. So uh, just kind of a quick update on what's happening. If you're not listening to WCMU-FM, I strongly suggest you do. There's a lot of great information there. Hey, I bet you're surprised by that. Not. Uh, but, you know, you can listen on the app like I do every day. You can listen on your smart speaker if you have one of those. Uh, I'm assuming you all have a computer because you're, in theory, working from home, right? <laughs> um, so you can listen on your computer or, doggone it, there's these things called radios. They've been around for over 100 years. You can listen on one of those, too, if you happen to own one. There's a daily news roundup that's being put together every morning and afternoon on all the stories that are happening around Michigan that impact us and everything. Uh, you can find that on the, the website. You can find that uh, on Facebook most days. Uh, maybe even it's on Twitter. Uh, I couldn't tell you, though, because I don't spend any time on Twitter. Uh, there's a cool map that Matt has created and is updating every day on what's happening with COVID-19 in the state of Michigan, the number of cases and broken down by county and Amy's getting that updated and posted to our website every day. So if you kind of want to see a history of how that's gone uh, and uh, you can uh, know that the news team is putting out tons of stories. We're using almost every single minute possible for local news. So thanks for the great work, everybody. The last uh, couple weeks, really the fort's been held down by David and Judy each day. David working from 9 until 2 and Judy from 2 until 7. While well, Amy's out, uh, she should be back, I think, in the next week or so. Uh, um, she, her her uh, son, Adam, was having some symptoms, and so she was staying out of the office. Uh, Mike has recovered from his sinus infection, so... Uh, so he is working from his remote studio at home and uh, everything's great. So thanks everybody in radio, Ben, the students, everybody's working really hard. Uh, it's been a great thing to see. The education e-news uh, is still uh, going gangbusters. Linda and Steve and Lee and Stephanie are all working hard on that. So if you don't have a first name that starts with an L or an S, Maybe you're not allowed to work on this, but we'll see if we can expand that for you. But it is, again, going out twice a week, every Wednesday and Sunday night. Uh, we're looking for a new template coming from Blaine here shortly. Uh, and Stephanie's learning Maestro, and uh, it's kind of a big team effort. But the open rate on this thing is unbelievable. And uh, if you're not using it, sign up for it. It's easy to get. Just go to our website, and it's uh, the Connecting with Families newsletter that you can get involved with. Tanya's been busy uh, programming the at-home learning schedule that airs on Create from 8 a.m. to 3 p.m. every day. Lee's been working on a website uh, for that, expanding what we've already got there. So thanks to you. Tanya uh, is being ably assisted by Brian and Sean. Thanks for all you're doing to make that happen. A lot happening uh, with programming as well, just uh, lots of schedule changes, some special episodes of lots of different programs, including Sesame Street and uh, things that Stephanie's been producing for Ask the Specialist. Uh, Capital Report has been cruising along uh, with a, uh, some efforts from the engineering folks to make it so that we can uh, use uh, Skype to make that happen. And so that is going along. We've got, like I said, some special Ask the Specialist episodes. We're looking at maybe doing some digital shorts on some other things with that as well. Uh, Adam created a spot that was accepted by NETA that's being distributed uh, to stations around the country about how they're using PBS uh, at-home learning resources. Uh, a lot going on there. Chris managing all the day-to-day. -day. Matt and Stephanie are working on a really cool video that shows uh, parents and teachers how to leverage learning media as well. That'll be a digital first as well as a, a spot to point people to a how-to on how they can take advantage of that with uh, parents working from home. Um, you know, Steve has been getting the e-news out, the, uh, the education e-news out, working with Gina. There's a lot of social uh, media activity going on. So uh, a whole lot of activity all around on that side. 
uh, the fundraising side. Stacy's been coming in once a week to get the mail. That's all that we're able to do is get the mail once a week. We can't send anything out. Uh, things are going really well there. We're getting a ton of passport signups. We saw a huge response to our uh, um, e-renewal effort that just went out. So people are donating. People are recognizing what we're doing and saying thank you with their donations as well. Liz has been actively reworking all the messaging on our message uh, on our mailings going out and things like that so that they're appropriate to the time. Um, Shannon has now offered and uh, it's been accepted. Uh, Jessica from the Advancement Department, a position she's going to be filling uh, that position when we get back. Of course, SABS is going on. We've got reimbursements for the university, a lot going on on that side. Uh, we've got several job postings out there. Traffic uh, is out there uh, for Brian's retirement, uh, a marketing and production for Steve's retirement. Uh, two engineering uh, postings out there as well. So a lot of activity on that side. Uh, and I ask you all to uh, keep entering your uh, travel, whether that's on bike or foot uh, or exercise at the home. Uh, we're about 600 and I think 30, 40 miles in last time I saw across the country. It's about a 2200 mile trip, so we're gonna need to get going. Uh, looks like we're gonna have till the end of April to get that done. Uh, and then I'm also putting up a document on the Teams page that I'm going to ask everybody to participate in. If you can get in there and start putting down the information that we need to remember from this experience, from the very beginning of getting ready to do this and throughout this whole process, what are we missing? How could we do this more effectively? How could we, um, what tools do we need? What training do we need to use the tools that we have to be more effective at everything that we're doing here for these extended periods of time? Uh, I you know just ask have grace with each other. We need to over communicate. I'm sure like you you're receiving way more email. Things can fall through the cracks when you get so inundated with email. I encourage you to continue to reach out to each other through Teams or other video chat method methods so that you're not uh, alone. Think of your coworkers. Uh, spend a little bit of time with that idle chit chat kind of stuff that you would normally do in the office. Uh, don't make it uh, all work and no play. So I hope everything's going well for everybody. Appreciate all of your hard work. Uh, you keep seeing the comments that are coming in from our donors saying thank you for what you're doing. You are invaluable to me right now. And that is true now more than ever. Thanks for all that you're doing. Every stay safe. Every stay inside. Uh, for the most part, go out and get some exercise. You know, I'm enjoying riding my bike by myself. Um, but, uh, you know, get out, uh, you know, stay healthy, be well. We will be back together again. Uh, I'll be planning something when we get back. Uh, and, uh, you know, keep us updated on Teams on what's going on in your house too. Thanks, everybody. And uh, we will talk to you again soon.